I locked these dogs up here for the first time. They've never been locked up together. And they got this whole area right here to kind of roam around together. Down me there. We'll see what they do. There's two entrances to that side. There's one over there. There's one where we're just at. So I locked both sides. Let's see what happens. There they go. They know. Miss B is smart. So this is cool because they're all focused on me and they just want to get to me they want to get to this side. So it's going to be interesting to see. How they get along without me next to them. This is a good way for me to observe what my next step will be with, um, with raising these dogs if I see a problem with one of them like let's say the Doberman if, if she's disrespectful I have to teach her how to play around because she's the smallest so she'll get beat up real easily And just with like behavioral problems mainly, like if I see Uso um, trying to dominate in a way where he's not supposed to and it's not needed, or they end up playing with a stick and they start getting aggressive, then I'm gonna have to work on that as well. But by doing this, the dogs are going to act a little different with me not being next to them and them knowing that they're kind of, they're locked. There's a border between us. So we're just going to wait. They're going to get frustrated. Right now, this is kind of like a high stress level for them. And I kind of want to see who takes the lead and... how they rank themselves in the pack. Miss B, the Black Corso, has the, the most practice with being in the pack. We adopted her at six and a half months and she used to live with two, three, four, I think six other dogs plus her whole litter before growing up. So she knows how to be, she knows how to be in the pack. Uso doesn't know how to be in the pack and the Doberman we got her really young at I think eight weeks nine weeks so she doesn't know how to be in the pack either so Miss B is I'm learning from her I'm gonna I trust in her that she will make the best judgment because she's she was in the pack where she was the lowest ranking so I know that she's not <clears throat> so uh, it kind of tells me that she's in a better place coming in here as opposed to being at the top of the pack obviously she'll be more aggressive and she's not like that I think she's more just like a, a fair person and kind of sneaky right if you think about it because if she's if she was in the you're so starting to cry stress levels going up a little bit more And so I just want them to relax a little bit. 
to kind of let them get used to not being able to come towards me. Let them get grounded with their situation and their environment and kind of just chill. Let them know that it's okay. Because you never know, later in the future, I might have to lock one of the dogs up in this area just to kind of protect it and patrol at night. So you might as well start as soon as you can. See, you see how everyone's demeanor now is chill. Like the Doberman is uh, like more of an independent kind of dog compared to the Connie Corso. Ms. B, she's very dependent on my girlfriend. Loves and only wants to be around people. Uh, I mean, and dogs, but like she just follows her everywhere. She's just like Uso. It's just the Corso personality. I would say growing up, Uso is very similar to the Doberman when he was a puppy. And because of how crazy they both are and how high of an energy their drive is, it really uh, put me out of my comfort zone and helped me, um, or it forced me to educate myself and put more time into training and, and raising it, uh, a big, powerful breed safely and responsibly it's it's kind of crazy it's hard to explain how a dog was when you see him now and they're so obedient and a lot of times I show her on video of doing obedience training so obviously she's controlled and you know trying to follow me a lot of people don't see behind the scenes where she's constantly picking on dogs she's constantly barking she's constantly biting things um, she likes to eat chicken poo she likes to mess with the chickens so like really she has no um, like free roaming she doesn't really free roam unless we're there watching her because if we do that she's gonna something i don't know she's just gonna get into trouble and uh that's not gonna be fun you know miss b is the perfect dog perfect house dog Super low drive, doesn't shed, doesn't drool, and just wants to lay down every single, every day, every time of the day, just lays down. If you go into your room and lay down, she'll lay down right next to you and she won't bug you. She won't whine. She's pretty good with just biting her own toys. And, uh, you know, she was gifted to us, so we're very um, happy with how she is. And because this is my girlfriend's first, <clears throat> and because this is my girlfriend's dog, you know, it's just, it's perfect for her. She doesn't really have to do that much. It's like she, we got her trained already. Right now, she's just kind of unsure nervous about new environments and and new people and sounds so that's like the main thing that we're working on is socializing and getting her familiar with um you know different sights sounds and situations right chuck chuck from reno Connie corso that's where miss b's from he has a youtube channel the link is down below and he, he offers really good free information. He has many, many <clears throat> years of experience more than me. So 
If you guys um, don't have them yet on YouTube, go check them out. Very informational YouTube channel. And you'll be able to see videos of her growing up as a puppy too, which is cool. So see, they're pretty chill now, right? So Uso is laying down. She's, uh, you know, digging and she's doing her thing. So that's that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted them to like not stress out and just let them know that, dude, it's, if the gates close, it's okay. Don't panic. Just chill. You know, chill, tune into your environment and just wait till I come back. And so this is the first time I'm doing it, so I'm not going to wait that long. Go ahead and release them. And, uh, you know, I spent time with my dogs. I trained my dogs. I walked my dogs. And so now um, I tie them up. Okay, all of them get tied up. The Doverman gets tied up. She's going to um, go into the crate for at least 30 minutes. And then Uso, I'll tie him up next to her and just have them all chill. They need to learn how to be independent and they need to learn how to be tied up when needed and that's just kind of how I run this dog pound structure is key for me uh, and this is all like what I do now is all based off of experience growing up Uso come on Uso was my first dog high energy dog right? and and so I made a lot of mistakes still am making a lot of mistakes but every day I learn from it and I tweak it and so there's no right one there's no one right way of training dogs I use everybody's techniques on YouTube if I find somebody that I like they got a nice technique I'll try it out myself and I'll mix it up with my own techniques and I will share it back to the world, share it all back to you guys. Because everything I have learned pretty much came from YouTube and through trial and error. And I also did take an obedience class with Uso too, which taught me how to use the prong collar. And I recommend you guys uh, doing that as well. It doesn't hurt to spend a little, bunny, a little bit of money on education, right? <laughs> 